Hello friends. In this session, I will be talking about throw keyword in exception handling and what are the best practices around using or not using throw keyword. So for the demonstration purpose here, I have a static method, which is a helper method. I am calling it check product exists. And what this method is going to do, it is going to take an integer parameter and it will check if your product is in the range of 1 to 100. Which means if your product goes less than 1 or above than 100, then I am going to throw an exception and I am saying that product is not found in inventory. Else, I am going to say that product is available. Now, to use this function or to use this method, in my main program, I am asking user to enter a product ID you would like to search and the range I am giving them is between 1 to 100. Now here I am going to read from the console and as console um, considers everything as a string, so I am parsing that string into an integer because my method expects an integer parameter. And then my program dot check product exists method will take that parameter. It will be passed right over here. And then you will either see that product is available or product is not found in inventory. So it's a plain simple program, but it is going to serve two purpose. One is to show you how to use throw keyword to throw an exception. And second, the best practice that how you can avoid using throw and why we need to avoid throw keyword if we can. So let's test with throw behavior first. So I'm going to run the program. And here for first time for successful execution, I'm going to enter uh, product ID is 99. And it says product is available, which means it did not throw any exception. Product is found and it says product is available. Now let's try one more time. And this time I will pass incorrect product ID, which will be out of the range. So here I am passing my product ID is 1001. And here it throws an exception and the exception is unhandled of course. And as you can see, it, so, it shows that product is not found in inventory. This exception is thrown. So consider that you are in a library or you are working on some code where you need to throw the exception which will propagate to the upper layers of your, of your program or project. Now in such situations you may want to throw exceptions. But be mindful when you are using throw overall in general in any of the program. Now I know that people use throw uh, very widely but it is not recommended because throw keyword is an expensive operation. And to help you understand why it is an expensive operation, because it needs to propagate the entire call stack, call stack and which takes memory and CPU resources to populate entire call stack and all those information which you read in the view detail, inner exceptions and what so not. Now all these things are expensive affair and if you use a lot of throw keywords in your application, you are, you are incurring more and more CPU resources and more and more expensive um, efforts are being taken by the CPU and the program. Hence, you should avoid it. Now, how can I refactor this current program to avoid using throw keyword but serve the same purpose? Which means, Throw, what throw was doing for me? Throw was telling me that my product is not in the inventory. That's why I'm throwing it. So it tells the uh, following layers um, in your program that this product is not in inventory. So what I can do is to, to show you that how to refactor this program, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to comment this program. This piece of code, I will comment it out. And then I have another code here, this one, which I will uncomment. 
So what I'm going to do, I am going to, if you see here both the codes, I have refactored it in such a way that I am taking the same thing, but I have changed my method to be a Boolean method. And what it is going to do, it is going to check the same range for product ID. And if the range is beyond this given range, then which means you are not going to find any record. And hence, I am returning false. Otherwise, I am returning true. So this is what I'm going to do, which will serve the same purpose like throw, but your program will not halt. Your program will not have any uh, unfriendly user experience and it will serve the same purpose in many of the applications. And if at all you can avoid using throw keyword, you should try to refactor code in similar fashion. And let's see how do I invoke it. To invoke it, what we need to do, we need to change few things here as well. And to do that, um, I am going to write code like this. And here I'm saying if if check product exists, so this is my Boolean method, which I have right over here. And this function is going to return a Boolean value based on the product ID I am going to look for. And then if it is not equal to false, then you say that product is found. Otherwise, you say product is not available. And um, let's build this one time. And now let's run the program. And now let's do first that I'm not able to find the program because that is where uh, exception are, be, are being thrown. So let's say this time I pass here uh, 101 and it simply says not available rather than saying that uh, uh, an exception is being thrown. So this is the behavior what I generated and here I have saved some CPU resources and all the memory utilization which is avoided by not using throw keyword here which would have propagated entire call stack and all similar things to, to give you the infrastructure what entire exception handling uses internally. Now, let's check uh, the positive case. Um, that case is that when it is in the range, and here I give the range this time uh, 89, and it says found, which means my program is working just fine, and in case of negative, I avoided using throw keyword, and instead I used a Boolean function, which is checking if my product is in the range or not, and I am handling true or false. And in my client application, based on the returned true or false, I am showing whether it is found or not. So this way, uh, you can avoid some situations uh, by not using throw keyword and save some CPU resources and make your program and machine more efficient and resource uh, sensitive. So I hope you learned something new about uh, using throw keyword and the best practices for using or not using throw keyword. Thank you very much for watching and I appreciate it.